Kia ora anō, whānau. Um, here we are again for the uh, challenge number three of the Kahol e-commerce challenge. Um, this challenge is about, it's a current challenge about refer, refer, referring a friend and uh, that's this concept of making sales make you uncomfortable. So I've got my headphones and microphone on the up because the buggers in the office are a bit busy, a bit, a bit loud on a Friday afternoon. Um, does the concept of making sales make you uncomfortable? Yes, yes and no. Um, makes me uncomfortable sometimes it's because when you refer a friend or a colleague to another colleague, you hope that your referral and the job that you refer will be, will be successful. And because you put uh, your trust into the referral and it's you up to your the person you've referred to really um, stand by that and be creditable. So when, when I refer people to another friend or, or a colleague, you know, I really expect that the, they perform that with um, in their best ability with good integrity, good trust, and a good price. So that's probably the only area where I feel a bit uncomfortable. But I've learned over the years that if someone you know, lets you down, then you just don't refer them again. Uh, it's pretty simple, unless you know, there's some um, considerations that for them not performing. Uh, um, referrals are, is a tough one, actually. Uh, so just before I've done this challenge, I've called a couple of friends and talked about the car hole e-commerce um, challenge and how they could apply because um, they're both in, in businesses um, that uh, having another skill for e-commerce would probably help their business. So I'll, I'll bring them before I've done this. So hopefully they um, register and make an application. Uh, over the last two years, I've been part of a uh, group called b &I. It's a group in Wellington with uh, different types of businesses. And we go and have a breakfast every Tuesday morning. And they talk about each other's experiences and um, refer each other to, to, other, um, to other businesses. So it's a bit of a networking thing. So it's been quite successful for me. Um, Few people from the group have referred me to, uh, to do mahi for other people in the group, which has been good. I've, I've made a few good friends. Um, the biggest thing is I've been able to talk more about my business confidently. Um, and so the referral thing hasn't really been, a, um, it's been great, but the best thing I've got from that is the ability to be more confident with my my sales, um, telling people what I do, that sort of what they call the the elevator pitch when you're in a when an elevator together and you can tell someone what you do in 30 seconds. Um, yeah, that's that's what it's really helped me with. So I'm more comfortable to make um, sales now. Uh, as long as I can stand by what I'm selling and do it with integrity, uh, with trust, and um, you know, always. I think leave the client happy and always be here to service them later uh, down the track and hopefully build some good relationships with my people. So the, what I've learned from this challenge is, yes, um, I still am, I can be uncomfortable to make referrals, but if I trust my colleagues and my collaborators uh, in my businesses that I work with, then I feel like I can refer them. So, I have learned a little bit from this challenge and just to re reconfirm what I feel already uh, when referring people or making sales. So that's, that's the end of that. I'm looking forward to the next challenge. Kapoi. Rodeo.